Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Star Bazaar and to the third installment of our Strengths and Weaknesses video series for the Heroes in Battlefront 2. Last time we tackled the blaster heroes on the light side, with the time before that being the lightsaber heroes for the light side, so if you missed either of those, I will leave a link in the description for both, and a card will be popping up in the top right corner now, so check those out if you missed them when they dropped, but be sure to finish this one first. Watching this video all the way to the end, leaving a like and dropping a comment is the best way to help support the video and our channel. If you do those three things, thank you for helping us grow, I really appreciate it. With that, let's waste no more time and jump right into it and check out the strengths and weaknesses of the Dark Side lightsaber villains. Let's check it out. We're gonna start strong and begin with, in my opinion, the best hero in Battlefront 2 on either side, Darth Vader. I'm not exaggerating either. If I were to make a ranking list of all 20 heroes and villains in Battlefront 2, I'm fairly confident Darth Vader would be number one. His strengths are his very high health, which makes him extremely tanky, plus high defensive stamina, a very powerful damage output, and excellent abilities. Darth Vader can do no wrong. He hits like a truck, and he can chain all of his abilities together for maximum effect. With his high health, he easily fills the role of the tank on the dark side, able to soak up a lot of damage for his teammates, but he can also dish that damage right back out using his standard lightsaber attacks or his abilities. So he's just as good offensive as he is defensive. He does have a weakness in offense though, and that comes down to his poor stamina. He has really bad attacking stamina, and his stamina regeneration is still the worst in the game. Basically, he gets tired easily, and he stays tired for longer than most other villains in Battlefront 2. This is the balance to Vader. While he can dish out damage like no other, and soak up damage like no other, the fact that he gets tired easily does keep him down. A smart player will know this about Vader and save his abilities for when he's out of stamina, so that Vader's not completely useless while he's resting. Another thing that keeps Darth Vader down and could be considered a weakness is his size and his speed. As a bigger guy, he's a little bit slower, and the fact that he's part cyborg makes it so that he can't run very fast and he's not very maneuverable, not like other heroes like Luke Skywalker or Darth Maul. He's a bit clunky, for lack of a better word, but that doesn't mean he's bad. It just means that he has to fight a certain way and he can't maneuver around the battlefront like Luke Skywalker can. So, in summary, Darth Vader's strengths are his high health, the fact he's very tanky, high defensive stamina, and strong offense with excellent abilities. His weaknesses, though, are low offensive stamina, poor stamina regeneration, and his slow movement. This is balance, ladies and gentlemen. Darth Vader is, in my opinion, the best villain in Battlefront 2, and possibly the best hero altogether. Moving on to Vader's biggest fanboy, we've got Kylo Ren. Kylo is one of my favorite villains to play in Battlefront 2, simply because he is so much fun. In Galactic Assault, he absolutely dominates infantry with his Frenzy ability, and he has great crowd control with both his pull and his freeze. Kylo is probably the most offensive hero in Battlefront 2. His entire setup is catered towards attacking and attacking non-stop. He has the highest offensive stamina in the game, plus a star card that lets him do a few more attacks on top of that. He has good damage output to boot, and his stamina recovers extremely quickly, so as soon as he runs out, he gets it back pretty fast. For a lightsaber hero, he also has pretty decent range with his abilities, as both pull and freeze can hit targets from a distance, leaving him not completely vulnerable to blasters. This leads into his first weakness, though, which is his very slow ability cooldown. Frenzy actually comes back relatively fast, but both pull and freeze have, I believe, the longest ability cooldowns in Battlefront 2. You have to be wise with how you use these abilities, because once you use them, you won't have them for at least another 20 seconds. He also has relatively slow lightsaber attacks, which I think is just a result of the fact that other lightsaber heroes have been getting their swing speeds buffed. It's not so much that he's slow, he's just at that same base level that everybody else was at before their buffs. I'm sure Kylo is deserving of a lightsaber swing speed buff, and he'll probably get one in the future, but for now, I do consider it a weakness. All in all though, Kylo Ren is a great villain. I think he's probably better in Galactic Assault than he is in the hero modes, but he is still a great counter to some of the light side heroes, like Anakin. So, Kylo Ren's strengths are his high offensive stamina, fast stamina recovery, and great crowd control with his abilities, but his weaknesses are his slow ability cooldowns and his slow attacks. This brings us to Darth Maul, probably the most fun villain to play in Battlefront 2, besides maybe Emperor Palpatine. 
We'll forego the obvious joke about drug use here, but Darth Maul is all about speed. His biggest strength is his speed. He's even faster than Luke Skywalker, which lets him jump into battle, do some damage, and jump out without taking any himself. He's very fast and aggressive, and his offensive stamina is pretty high, comparable to even Kylo Ren's. This makes sense to his character, as Darth Maul was all about overwhelming, lightning-fast strikes that just dominate his opponents. You can do this in-game with Darth Maul, as even if you're attacking somebody relentlessly and they're doing a good job of getting away, his spin attack and chokehold abilities do a good job of keeping your opponents where you want them and keeping the attack ongoing. A committed Darth Maul player is scary indeed. While these are really good strengths for Darth Maul, his weaknesses are his low health and his relatively low damage output. He does have the lowest health pool out of any lightsaber user in the game, and if we're talking about damage output, Darth Maul actually falls a little bit lower on the list. This is simply to balance out his speed though, because if he could hit you like Darth Vader could, but still move the way he does now, that would be pretty overpowered if you ask me. I like to think of it this way. In the space of time that Darth Vader takes to hit you one time like a truck, Darth Maul will hit you three times like a smart car. Low damage output, but his ability to attack non-stop can really add that damage up. So, in summary, Darth Maul's strengths are that he's very fast and aggressive with high offensive stamina, but his weaknesses are his low health pool and relatively low damage output. He is a fan favorite though. Dice, please, Maul skins when. This brings us to one of my favorite heroes in Battlefront 2, General Grievous. Grievous is amazing in-game, one of the best lightsaber heroes in my opinion, but for some reason I see that a lot of people seem to be struggling with him, so I hope this helps. General Grievous' strengths come down to his high damage output and great area coverage, with both his thrust surge and claw rush abilities. Right away, one of Grievous' biggest weaknesses is the fact that he's very bad at deflecting blasters, so when he's facing down a group of blaster heroes or infantry, he's gonna have a hard time. And that's when Thrust Surge and Claw Rush come in handy. He can cover that distance and go meet those infantry head on. Grievous also has fantastic stamina recovery, which I find kind of funny because one of the biggest complaints that I see with Grievous is players say that he seems to run out of stamina very quickly. I think that's because those players are running the Sith Train Star Card, which will increase Grievous' stamina usage by 40%, so combine that with a trigger-happy Grievous player, and you'll find a Grievous with no stamina left. There is a way around this though, and it's Grievous' last strength, which is the fact that he's very methodical. Grievous is part cyborg, so when you play Grievous, you have to kind of think like a cyborg. All of his abilities have insanely short cooldown times, so when you use them, you can use that ability again very soon after. What I like to do with Grievous is adopt a very aggressive playstyle. I'll go up and attack my target, even going so far as to run myself out of stamina, then once I'm out, I will pop up Unrelenting Advance, which lets me not only protect myself from frontal attacks, but it also lets me keep doing damage to anybody standing in front of me. While Unrelenting Advance is going, I'm simply letting my stamina come back, so by the time the ability is done, I can go right back into regular attacks. Once I'm out of stamina again, I can follow up with either Claw Rush or Thrust Surge, and just repeat that cycle. It's devastating. And that's what I mean when I say Grievous is methodical. You can do one thing after another after another, and if you plan the sequence out well enough ahead of time, you can essentially attack forever. So, General Grievous' strengths are his high damage output, good area coverage, and great stamina recovery, as well as the fact he's a very methodical attacker, but his weaknesses are the blasters from a distance, and, just as a late add-on, his very glitchy abilities. While his abilities are good, they do glitch out more often than not, and you'll find yourself losing as a result. With Grievous out of the way, we have the last lightsaber villain, Count Dooku. The good Count is all about one-on-one -on -one encounters. He's not very good when it comes to facing down groups, especially groups of infantry with blasters, but when it comes to one-on-one -on -one engagements, especially with other heroes, Count Dooku is king. Combining both Expose Weakness and Duelist abilities will give Count Dooku the highest damage output in the game, with potential to two or three shot enemy heroes from full health. It's pretty crazy. Dooku also has the best dodges in Battlefront 2, minus the dodges from the Infiltrator class, which actually need a star card to get that third dodge. Dooku has it by default, and the recharge time of his dodges is half that of any other unit or hero. He has very smooth movement, and he's pretty quick for an old man. 
Unfortunately, as of recording this video, Dooku is a little bit bugged right now when it comes to his duelist and exposed weakness abilities. They're still usable, and he's still a pretty good hero if you know how to use him right. Unfortunately, he is lacking a little bit compared to everybody else because of these glitches. Besides the buff to himself and the debuff to enemies, he also has a pretty good knockdown effect with his lightning stun ability. It's not fantastic crowd control because the range is very limited, he can only hit enemies in his immediate vicinity, but it is there to help him when he needs it. Dooku's a lot of fun to play. In my opinion, he's kind of like the anti-hero villain, if that makes sense. He's the guy that you want to send out when you have a problem Anakin or a problem Yoda giving your team a lot of trouble. If he gets the jump on him, Dooku can melt their health, no problem. So, Count Dooku's strengths are his smooth movement, great dodges, and devastating damage with his abilities, but his weaknesses come down to the fact that he is very close range. He cannot deal with enemies at long distance, and even enemies at mid-range, they have to be up close. Most other lightsaber heroes and villains have some kind of an ability that can deal with enemies at longer ranges, but not Dooku. Dooku is the only one where he can only attack from close range, which is his biggest weakness. But with that, those are the strengths and weaknesses of the Dark Side lightsaber villains. If you guys found these tips helpful, I would really appreciate the thumbs up on the video, and also drop a comment below letting me know which lightsaber villain is your favorite one to use. We've got one more episode of this series coming up next, and that is for the Dark Side Blaster heroes, including Palpatine. So if you want to see that, be sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and stay tuned for that one. That's going to do it from me though. I appreciate you all stopping by the bazaar, and I will see you all out on the battlefront. Peace.